Hi, I'm John. And I'm Denise. And we're the Brunos, and we have four daughters. Our oldest daughter is Mariah, she's 15. Taylor is 13. Why are you looking at me? What are you doing? Isabella is six, <laughs> and Samantha is four. Go, Mariah, go. Mariah has um, cerebral palsy. <laughs> As a baby, she was not expected to survive. She's our little miracle and just gives us so much joy. Okay. You like it? Okay. Taylor, she's. Well, go put a pair of shorts on and take your choker off, and we'll go for a bike ride. I don't want to go for a bike ride with you. Me and Taylor and our issues, I'm, it's, it's so far gone. I mean, I don't know where to start. She has to have the last word. That drives me crazy. You look too hard with black hair. OK, sorry. You feel that way. You don't have to look at me. I hate you. Keep it. Now just go in your room. I hate you. Get up in your room. Now this is really sad. Sam is probably our whiniest child. My word. Isabella is very strong well. Pick up my spoon! No. It's not in there! When Bella gets in one of her moods. I want it! Bella, stop it, please. No! It takes so much out of me physically and emotionally. Get up. No! No! That little girl's very angry. When I have the girls all day, it's very overwhelming. I throw a piece away. No! You sit in your chair. And if you stay there, I won't throw any more away. I just feel like I'm constantly yelling. So you guys share your things. One. Sam, get over here. Why do you fight over everything? This is ridiculous. I don't want my kids growing up remembering me as a mom that cried every day. Stop it! Stop! Please, Super Nanny, we could have used you probably two years ago. Super Nanny, we cannot wait till you get to our home and help us. Looks like this mom and dad need saving from their princesses. I'm coming! Pleased to meet you, I'm Joe. Hi, I'm Denise. Come on in. Thank you. Hi, pleased Hi. to meet you, I'm Joe. Nice to meet you. My pleasure, I'm Jan. Hi, John. Nice you. What's your name? She's going to be here. Hi. This is Samantha. Samantha. Hi, Samantha. Hi, what's your name? Bella. Hi, Bella. Pleased to meet you. I'm Jojo. Say nice to meet you. Hi. Hi, pleased to meet you. Hi, Joe. Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Mariah. Hi, Mariah. Pleased to meet you. Hi. Having Joe be here is like a weight off my shoulder <laughs> because I just felt like I don't know what to do anymore. You got therapy this morning, Mariah? Yeah. Cool. She just had surgery. Have you? Where did you have surgery? On my hip. On your hip? Oh, here. And how is it? Is it getting better? Yeah. Good. As I was observing, I saw that it was time for Mariah's therapy. And as usual, Denise gave it all. So you do this every day, twice a day? Um, I try to do it three times a day. Three times a day. I learned from Denise that Mariah's condition is mainly physical. But in other aspects of her life, she's kind of like every other 15-year-old girl. She's just right out of a cast, so she's doing good. Are you feeling stronger every day? Yeah. Yeah. Mom and me with my therapy. And I do be with my mom. Is it sometimes a situation where you could be at home doing your therapy with Mariah and literally have the girls as well and John's not around? Oh, yeah. They act up because I, I'm so busy with her, and she's in her walker, and I can't just leave her. And if they start getting into something, they know they can get away with it. I try to take myself and divide it between my children and, and the amount of time. I do feel guilty that I spend so much time with Mariah, but I just have to tell myself it's a necessity. 
because it's for her good. I'm good. You did those very fast. You're swinging that around, and I don't want you playing with this. Mum had barely finished doing therapy with Mariah when Bella, the seven-year-old, started swinging a bat around the area where they were working. Stop! No. Don't make me chase you. Isabella, she just really is, you know, very headstrong and wants her way. Get in your chair. What's the chair? I have her sit over there. Get in there and sit there. Don't move. Don't move. I'm sad this time. Naughty chair. We're gonna be end up sitting here all afternoon. Sit. <laughs> Give me this. Give me this. No. You don't swing. Okay, that's it. You're not doing it. I did said enough to swing it off. You know what? You need to go upstairs. No. 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 Uh -oh. no. Bella was resisting, and I could see that Mum was really starting to get worked up. You stay in here. You're going to behave when you come up. Why aren't you sharing with your things to Stop it! Ah! You're done. You stay in here. I want you to sit down. No! Three minutes. I want you to sit here and think about how you're going to behave. <laughs> Nicely. <laughs> sit. It's just ridiculous that this little girl is arguing Stop with her mother it. and fighting. This shouldn't be happening. No! I don't know what to do. This is what she does. It's really hard. Because I'm exhausted. Stop it. No! Bella, stop ah! it! OK, you're done. You're hurting me, and I don't ah! want to be in here. I gave you a chance. And don't! I'll let you come out when I don't hear you kicking. Shaking. Huh? You're physically shaking. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. In Mum and Dad's submission reel, they told me that Taylor and Dad's relationship was really strained. So I wanted to hear from the older girls. Do you hang out with Dad much? No. no. I would like to spend more time with my dad. I wish he would hold me more. What about talking to Dad? You know, like, can you sit down and have a chat, a conversation like me and you having now? Um, not really. He usually ends up yelling at me. Does he? What about? Yeah. He doesn't like the way I dress. He doesn't like how my hair is. He doesn't like how I wear my makeup, just stuff like that. And he'll always find something to yell at me about. I don't know if it will ever get to a point where we can, like, where I can talk to him about anything. I'm just like done. I'm like, OK, we don't get along. That's just how it's going to be. Because if it's not something that he wants to hear, he's just, he'll get mad. Is that a true account? Yeah. But that's like he's not even like a part of my life, kind of. He's not part of your life? Yeah. Like, he doesn't really care, it seems like. It's like Taylor's numbed herself with regards to her relationship with John to protect herself. I suppose for you it would be really nice to have your dad, wouldn't it, really? You miss him. Taylor definitely puts up a constant front, but you can see that she really wants her dad's love and approval. It didn't take long for me to see exactly how tense dad and Taylor's relationship is. Did you make up your mind yet? About what? My hands is hurting, too. No, not yet. I'll talk to Mom about it tonight. But I want to know. I want to do it now. How many days in a row have I heard about your hair? Every day for the past three because months. Because you a while, never answer annoying. me. So because I have to look how you want me to look? No, you don't have to look how I want you to look. I gave you my opinion. I like your natural color better. Because don't you don't like it, I shouldn't be able to do it. That's what you have parents for. Sometimes you have to listen to them. Sometimes you never let me do anything. I try, believe me, I try. But it goes in one ear and out the other ear for Taylor. Taylor, when you're 18 years old and you're off to school, you can do So I can't do anything. Not when you're here, not when you live here. Taylor and Dad have got the same temperament. It's like two peas in a pod. Then I'm going to probably hear it again, right? Yes. Just drop it. I am expressing myself, but my dad just doesn't like it at all, and then he just doesn't talk to me. What is your feeling? 
on her hair. I'm sick of hearing about it. All right. So why don't you just say no and no is it? See, look, he's getting mad. He doesn't even let you talk. Because, you know why? Because this has been going on for how long? A year? No. I know why you're not saying no, because when I'm at, at work, you hear about it all the time. No, and she because aggravates, mom's aggravates nice. you, aggravates you. Oh, mom's nice. Just because I don't let you do something, I'm mean, right? You just said this morning, Dad, if you let me color my hair, I won't say I hate you. Because and you're... I won't disrespect well, you. Well, that's probably not true, because you're still mean to me no matter what I do. Yeah, fine, fine. Go do it. I can't wait to see it. Go. And I hope your hair falls out. Whatever. 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 The yelling is what bothers me the most. These guys just can't go on like this. It's really damaging. And I'm ready to sit John and Denise down and sort this out now. You have a magnificent home, the pair of you. Thank you. I mean, everything is great on the outside. But what about the inside? I would like to talk about Isabella's disrespect for you, Denise. I wasn't at all pleased. Mm. What part are we missing when Isabella is allowed to talk to you the way she does? What are you guys doing that allows her to feel that she can do it day in and day out? Because something's not right. I, I have to be doing something wrong because I just, I didn't think I raised her that way. She's not given any boundaries or any fundamental core values on a regular basis. What's happening with your relationship with Taylor, John? Oh, we don't have one. There it is. Bam. We don't have one. You have a teenager daughter mm -hmm. who actually hears from you that she's not pretty, that she wears clothes that are just punk-style golf clothes, that her hair looks trash because it looks better when it's a different colour. Mm -hmm. But she's all coming into her own, her own individuality, finding her own style. You're damaging her self-esteem. How many more years are you going to let this go on until your daughter reaches 15, 16, and you don't even know where she is or who she's hanging out with? Wake up, John. Wake up. Everything she does right now is half from trying to express herself and half because she's rebelling because you're suffocating her and it shouldn't be happening. You know, it's an important relationship. Most the relationship is. a daughter has with their father. Mm -hmm. I mean, I want my daughter to be close to me. I want her to do things with me. I don't want her to hate me. I don't want her, her not to come to me if she has a problem. But we have to show her that she can come to us and not I will. blow up in her face every I will. time she comes to talk. I will. That's one teenager. Let's talk about the other teenager. I'd like to see Mariah being held and not in that wheelchair all the time some bonding, some physical contact. John, I'd love to see you hold her. She's your little girl. She wants her dad to hold her. You think she needs your love any less? It's, you just get in your rut, you're in your ways, and you need someone to hit you over the head. So was it hard enough? I'll let you know in six months. I didn't think Joe was going to come down on us that hard, but you never think you're that bad until <laughs> reality sets in. You know, she was just doing what she had to do. I want 100% commitment from the pair of you working towards making your family dynamic a lot better than what it is so that everyone's a lot happier. Are we up for both doing that? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Yes. Good. All right, so uh, we better get working then, right? Yes. All right, good. The next day when I came in to start teaching, as I walked through the front door, I saw Mum trying to discipline Bella. I'm gonna bite you! I'm out! I'd seen Denise's attempt to discipline Bella before, and that had failed miserably. So now it was time for me to teach her properly. What needs to be put in place is discipline here, because this little girl is trying to rule roost. So go and put your little girl in her place and make sure she recognises once and for all, because you know what? This is ridiculous. Bella's been fighting Mum for way too long, and that needs to stop immediately. Place her on there. Don't look at her. Just walk away. <laughs> I 
I hate the naughty chair. It was a very hard thing to do to see my child kicking and punching me, telling me I hate you. I can't believe she's doing this. Like, could she do this all day long? This is gonna go all day. Walk down the steps or you're gonna fall. Denise, do not talk to her. This is not personal. I don't think I should ever be in the naughty chair because I don't start the fight usually. Okay, come away. When it comes to discipline, you're in control. There's no negotiation. It was quite a long episode. I mean, I felt like I went through a boxing match. I hate you. I want to get After a grueling two and a half hours of disciplining Bella, more than Mum had ever lasted, Bella realised that she weren't going to give up as she stayed put on that naughty mat. You were put on the naughty mat because you misbehaved kicking, punching, throwing things, and that's unacceptable. It was a sigh of relief and a feeling of, wow, we did it. I want you to say you're sorry to your mother for your behaviour. Sorry, Mom. I accept your apology. I love you. Coming up, Super Nanny gets Taylor to reveal her true feelings about Dad. Do you feel like he loves you? I just want to leave and go live with someone else, I guess. So now Mum was learning how to deal with Bella, it was on to the next pair of fighters, Taylor and Dad. I want to talk to you about the relationship that's going on between you and your dad. And I do believe there's room for the pair of you to really connect here and to forgive one another and move on and start afresh. I wanted to allow her the freedom to be able to say what was on her mind. So I set up in the afternoon a video camera. I want you to be brave enough to be able to look into that lens if there's something that you really feel you need dad to know. I think there's things that he doesn't understand. I wanted to give Taylor the opportunity to not be interrupted by John or to feel threatened by his anger. If I could ask my dad for one thing, it'd probably be to listen because then he would understand, like, me, I guess. Do you feel like he loves you? Do you think he cares about you? What things does he do or say to you that make you believe that? When he says he can't stand me and just screams, make me feel like crap. Everything is negative. How does it feel living in this house when he's this way? I don't like it. I just want to leave and go live with someone else, I guess. Later in the afternoon, when Mum was doing therapy with Mariah, Bella and Sam were meant to be practicing a play, but it was becoming difficult for Mum just to focus her attention on Mariah because the girls kept butting in. You need to go practice, but I am not done with Mariah right now. You need to do that for me. Girls, I'm okay. working with Mariah right here. Sam? Sorry, because I'm going to come in and interrupt now. It should say, please, girls, you're doing your play, OK? That's what I'd like you to continue doing. And when I finish with Mariah's therapy, we're going to come in and we're going to watch it. What I'd like you girls to do is go finish together, okay. making your play. I am almost done with Mariah, and then I'm going to watch you. OK? Off you go, Sam. Bye. Bye. You're the one that has to stop that and, and draw that line. Mum was looking forward to watching the play, but she wasn't going to stop and give them attention before dealing with Mariah first. Today, we're going to shoot some pool. You can use another ball to hit another one in. There, see, you got them both in. Yay. All right. All right, you're done. You did an awesome job today, Mariah. Once Denise had finished therapy with Mariah, and as promised, Denise called the girls in so that she could watch the play that they had written. Are you taking me? Let me go. Hi, guys.
John's a good old guy. He means well. He does well for his family. But he's gotten a little bit rusty considering he's got four girls in the house. And he really does need to make amends with his relationship with Taylor. Because I wanted time alone with you. Okay. Which I felt was important because what I do want to do is to watch this. The truth is a very powerful thing. It really is. And there was John for the first time. He was able to listen to her talk about how she truly felt. Do you remember a time when your dad would play with you and, and hug you and you'd have fun with him? When I was four or five. When was the last time he told you that he loved you? I don't remember. He doesn't like the color of my hair. He says he doesn't like it. I'll walk by and he'll just laugh and, like, I don't care. I mean, he can do that, but then he doesn't need to sit there and say, oh, well, you looked better before when you didn't had your hair brown. When he says that, what's that do for your self-esteem? What exactly are you hearing? You're ugly. The whole thing was hard to hear and see. I don't know. I just don't want him to be a part of my life. I'm just never going to like my dad, I guess. And I know that it's wrong, and I should love my dad, but I can't. Is there room for you to allow your dad to make a mend? I'll let him try. Would it be nice? Kind of. There wasn't much trust between Taylor and John. And I know that I've really opened that door for the pair of them to really come together and make amends. Thank you. You're welcome. Are you going to let me talk to you? I guess. I mean, this was a wake-up call. And I hope you know that I, I love you. I just want to be the normal dad to you. And, uh, and just, just give me a chance. You're my daughter. I just want to ask you if we can start over. I'm sorry. Okay. They hugged one another, and it was just a really great moment just to see them both connect. <sighs> he walked away very quickly, and I could see him wiping his eyes. He came back down again, and his eyes looked all glossy. I love you. I love you, too. It was like this weight had been lifted off of her shoulders completely. So, Dad, do you remember earlier on we were talking about doing things with Mariah and mm -hmm. more contact and stuff like that? Mm -hmm. About taking Mariah for a swim. OK. The one thing that I hadn't seen was John really physically connect with Mariah, so this was a great opportunity to reconnect. I enjoyed it very much because we don't get to do that too often. Go ahead, go. That's it, that's it. So it was really great one-on-one, -on -one and just to see the, the gleam and the happiness in Mariah, it just, it just carried over to me. Good exercise. That's good exercise. Kick, kick, kick. I think the funny thing that happened today was that we'd spoke so much about how Mariah missed the touch from her father holding her. But I think John realised today how wonderful it felt to have his daughter put her arm around him. She said, I've worn myself out. Good. Let it go, Mariah. It was a good experience with my dad. No. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Mariah. Come on.
Miss Dodo's going now. Okay, I'm back for a few days. All right. Don't go. When Joe leaves, I think I can do it. I have confidence in myself, but I just have to realize that, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day. We'll see how I do. Bye, darling. Okay? All right, take care, yeah? Keep moving forward, mate. Keep moving forward, okay? okay? It really hit me today when Joe left. She was, uh, kind of like the security blanket for our family. You'll do fine. I'll do it. OK. I'll see you soon. All right. Take care. The Brunos are coming along fine. And let's just hope they keep up their progress. Before I left, Dad had made some great strides with the older girls. But now I was more intrigued to see how Mum had gotten on with the younger ones. So, Denise and John, are you ready to take a look at the DVD? Yes. Do you feel nervous? Mm-hmm. Do you? <laughs> let's go. <laughs> let's go, OK. What do you want to do? Think of what you want to do, and then let me know. I know. What do you want to do? Walk in my day trainer. Walk in your day trainer? Okay. <gasps> okay, all day. Thank you, Sam. Now what does she need? What does she need when she stands in here? Girls, if you want to play, you need to go off to the side, because this is Mariah's time to do her therapy, and that's uh, that, then we can't get to the store. Girls. You're not listening to me. You need to go in the other room. This is Mariah's time, please. OK. Clearly here, there should have been the setup. You didn't turn around and say, right, guys, Mariah needs a session. OK, so Mum is going to be doing Mariah's session. Either go up in your rooms and play individually, or together you can play together. But this space is mine and Mariah's. If you break that, then there are going to be consequences for it. The next clip we're going to see is Dad and Taylor Painting. I think it went well. Yeah? Let's take a look. Is that big enough so far? Um, I guess. Are you going to fix the front of it, though? Yeah, I'm just sketching it. OK, because it looks like a swan. Looks like a swan. <laughs> I don't want it, like, too small. I won't. I'll do it. I can, I can always make it bigger, too. Wow, look at this. Listening, talking to one another. Working together. There they go. It, it, it really wasn't hard. Hey. How much did you love that? Um, very much. It, we haven't done it in a long time. Get your daughter back? Mm, I think so. It's good stuff, John. Thanks. Good stuff. Bella and Sam on the naughty corner. Let's take a look at this. I'm putting you in here because you left the house without I want to put them where you want to put them. And then I don't know where you are. And that is not allowed. You ran across the street, a car could have hit you, and you went, Isabella, I'm going to talk to you when you look at me and take okay, this I seriously, will. okay? I will. I will. I will. <laughs> look at me. And be quiet, please. OK. Baba. Isabella, I put you in your timeout because you ran across the street. What do I expect you to do when you go outside? No, you look at me and you talk clearly, please, or you're going to stay here longer. Sorry for running across. I don't understand you. Sorry for running across the street without acting. I want an apology. Sorry, I said sorry a million times. And it wasn't in a nice way. Sorry. Is that nice? I expect, I, I accept that. No, go play nicely, please, and you're staying in the house, <laughs> please. You get to the end of the naughty chair technique here, and you can't even bear to hug her because you're so angry with her. You're so angry. But what you're really angry with is yourself. You're angry that you part with so much from her. And unless you change it, Denise, it's not mm. going to change. Every day, she is going to do that to you. She can grind you down emotionally every day before recognizing I need to be firm. I need to walk away. I shouldn't be engaging in the confrontation. She should simply know she needs to behave herself. She's six years old and she'll do as she's told. You know, that's the chair, full stop. It's good you're feeling this way, Denise, because it's going to bring you closer to making decisions for yourself that are going to make really positive change in the house. This is the stepping stone today that we will spend in being able to move you beyond that point. I want to get beyond that point. 
Okay, so let's carry on. Okay. This afternoon, I wanted to give Denise some more coaching on how she could keep Bella and Sam occupied whilst giving Mariah therapy. What you're going to do is the stuff that we mentioned on the DVD, okay? Mummy's going to work with Mariah. You're going to address it, okay? I want you, not need, I want you both to either go and play individually up in your rooms or to play together, but this is my space with Mariah. If Mum doesn't have the space to do her therapy with Mariah, then Mariah doesn't get her therapy, full stop. Mummy's doing therapy with Mariah by the pool table because she likes to throw the ball. So you can take toys if you want okay. and bring them in the other room. Go in the other room, you're going in the non- What's this? Straight up. Let's do straight up, pull, and up. <laughs> Sam, mummy's, mummy's doing therapy, OK, with Mariah. Look at her properly and tell her. Sam, it is mommy's time to do therapy with Mariah for Bella, 10 I'll play minutes. with you later. You need to go okay, in the other room. But this room is what mummy's saying. And play. Let's pick out some toys and go in the other Let her pick out the toys. You pick out the toys, Sam. But you pick out the toys that you want to play with. You heard mummy. <laughs> Mummy's doing her 10 minutes with Mariah. What would you like to play with right now with a clear voice? Look at me and tell me. Don't hit me. Or Excuse me? Naughty chair. Excuse me? Warning. Warning. A warning. Are you putting up with that? No. Are you? Then give her a warning. One more time you kick me, you're going in the naughty chair. The gloves were off, and this was the ultimate test for Denise. Let go of her then. You've told her. Let go of her. All right? You're not putting up with it. You're not putting up with that behaviour, OK? You need to go in the other room and play with that, OK? Doctor! Yeah, in the other room. I had Joe next to me, guiding me through what I needed to do. And it was exciting to know that I was doing finally the right thing, even though it was a very hard thing to do. Remember my space? Bella found the puzzle. Go ahead in the other room. You guys can do your new puzzles. Good, off you okay. go then. Go ahead. In the other room, you guys go play, OK? Like we did yesterday. Remember, we had a nice time playing. Thank you. Oh, and the girls come back to test Mum. But she wasn't having none of it. OK, throw two more balls, Mariah. Did you get it? Good job. I definitely am going to feel much more confident and assured that, you know, I can do this, and the kids are going to listen to me. You guys are playing very, very nicely together. Yeah. OK, and you gave me my time that I needed. So now we're going to play something together. Yay! Now can we play? I was really proud of Denise. That was a huge accomplishment for her. She stayed composed. She stuck with it. And for the first time, those girls respected their mother's space with Mariah. Oh, Thank you. You see, you do it. There's been a lot of issues to tackle whilst I've been with the Brunos. But before I leave, I want to make a real statement about how important it is that they all do something together as a family. That was shuffleboard. How the heck she thought of that, the shuffleboard, I would have never thought of doing that. Fun game. Good. Because that's what we're going to do as a family. We're going to go shuffleboard now. Fancy a game of shuffleboard? Mm. If you're a family and you've got a child who has a disability, it's so important to find creative things that are going to be fun for the whole family to do. Mariah, you ready to play? All right. She's like, oh, no, I don't want to do this. Oh, no. Come on, you've got more than that. Go for it. Push it. Watch out, watch out. I love my old family. One, two, push. There you go. Good job, Ryan. I wish she can, one of these days, she can do it by herself. Just stand there and grab the stick and just play. OK, ready? Push. One, two, three. There you go. Very good. Look at all the points you got. You've got to give them credit that Denise and John got the kids in the car and they just went and did it, you know? And I think that's what it's all about. It's about picking a special day where you can all do things together as a family. Right. Recognising what can we do that's new, what's fresh, what can we get all the kids involved in, and give it a go. Want to do another one? <laughs> Are you helping your sister? Mm -hmm. Family time is fun. You're helping your sister, that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. One, three. One. Two, three. We got so caught up in our lives and 
okay, we have this limited amount of time, you know, but to be able to know that Sundays are gonna be devoted to our family and each week, let's try something new. Let's try something that, you know, Mariah can be a part of. It's gonna be a great experience and I know that that's gonna help her improve as well. Mariah, you did very well. The younger ones did good as well. This is the kind of thing I'm talking about, you know? Just coming out and just trying different things. It's worth it. To do it. Right? I want to say goodbye to you all before you sit down and have dinner. It was very hard for me to say goodbye to Jo. She has affected each and every one of us in a special way. And for that, we are forever grateful. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you, Jojo, for having my family. Well done, you did good. Mm? Thank you. Keep up, keep up. Thank Take you very care, much. you're welcome. Thank you. thank you very much. Take care, you're welcome. Taylor and I were on different planets. And since Joe's been here, we're like a father and a daughter. <laughs> oh What's all these tears? No, it really has been a long journey for the Bruno family, but they've managed to bridge relationships and they have more respect for one another as a family. Bye, sweetie. Bye. Keep in touch. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye. Swing right. We'll never forget this whole experience. It's just going to stick with us. You know, this is what you need to be doing to make your family what you want it. That high enough? You're good, Mariah. Good posture. I've seen substantial amount of changes in Isabel and Sam. It's it's like night and day already. Uh, very happy for them. You're pumping, huh? I've probably seen the biggest changes in Denise. I mean, it's like the world's lifted off her shoulders. She's enjoying every minute of it. What? Now I know that I have the tools and the guidelines and everything that I need in order to have a loving family. <gasps> I see you! Ah! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are now going to start the band. Someone has to sing. <laughs> Two weeks ago, Taylor and I wouldn't even have been close to having a normal conversation. I respect Taylor to the utmost now. Can you enlarge that? My dad's been like trying to talk to me and spend time with me and he hasn't yelled or anything. Would you do that on my ceiling? Yeah, if you want me to. It's gonna be all worth it in the long run. That's the bottom line, period. Ladies and gentlemen. Hold on. <laughs> Being able to do things as a family is, is a wonderful feeling. I mean, who doesn't want that? Thanks for giving us a new life.